So this is a video to discuss Tekken 8, who will win between the Child of Destiny, Jin Kazama, or the Devil himself, Kazuya Mishima. I will be doing this video out of character so I can give my personal opinion on the matter and the foundation of Tekken 8 and what I think is going to happen. In Tekken 7, we both should know that Jin and Kazuya can now control their devil forms at will. In Tekken 7 as well, Kazuya was able to fulfill his destiny in killing Heihachi. And it is unclear of what happened between the fight of Devil Kazuya and Akuma. We don't know if Akuma beat Kazuya, we don't know if Kazuya beat Akuma or killed him. Capcom is really protective over their characters, so I'm gonna say that maybe it was a draw. Kazuya killed his father. Finally, after all these years, he has his revenge. And now, with that fulfillment, what's he gonna do next? Well, it's obvious. He's gonna try and take over the world, and he's gonna take what is rightfully his, in his perspective, the Devil Gene, which is inside Jin. Kazuya needs Jin's Devil Gene to become whole, and in doing so, he will rule the world. With the Devil Gene in his hands, Jin Kazama wants to get rid of it and get rid of Kazuya along with the Mishima bloodline. For good. It's been his goal ever since Tekken 4. In Tekken 4, Jin fought both Kazuya and Heihachi at the same time and beat them easily. As he was getting ready to finish them off, something stopped him. Someone stopped him. And that was Jun Kazuma who plays the biggest part in Kazuya and Jin's story. The mere thought of Kazuma Jun's presence, her name, it sends Kazuya into a spiral. It starts making him confused. He knows who Jun Kazama is. She has drawn really close to Kazuya. But why? What was the thing that drove both these two together to love each other and create Jin? Did they even love each other? Maybe that passionate night was forced? Maybe Kazuya and Jun actually felt love to each other? Something drew them together to make Jin. And hopefully Harada explains this in Tekken 8, just like how he explained Kazumi, Heihachi's wife. I really want to see Kazuya and Jun's relationship in death so we could really see why they love each other and what drew them to make Jin in the first place. We'll all know eventually. But Jun, how did she escape Ogre? If she's out there missing, where could she be? Is she alive? Is she spiritual? Is she watching all the events transpire from afar in spirit? We don't know. But those are just many possibilities. I've heard other theories like June being captured by G Corporation like Kazuya, which I think would be pretty cool. There's also the unknown theory, like she could be the final boss, like she got kidnapped or something. Ogre possessed her or something possessed her. Maybe that wolf spirit could come back. There's so many theories and so many possibilities on just where the hell is June Kazuma, but we will be able to find out in due time. So, who will win? Well, in my personal opinion, I don't think either of them will win because they are both cursed with the same thing. If they kill each other, one of them is still going to be cursed with the devil gene. Jin thinks that killing Kazuya will get rid of it, but will it really? I mean, dude, you literally started World War III, committed mass genocide on multiple people just to bring out Azazel, and what did that do? Nothing. So now, after that failure happened, Jin woke up and was like, whoa, uh, now I gotta go kill Kazuya because he has the devil gene. Like, stupid, again, you caused a world war, killed multiple innocent people, killed the supposed origin of the devil gene and failed to get rid of it and now he's going after Kazuya. Why? Because he has the devil gene and Jin wants to get rid of it and he's gonna use his devil gene to get rid of Kazuya. So let me break it down to you like this. What if hypothetically Jin kills Kazuya? 
What if Jin successfully kills Kazuya? That would be stupid. You know why? Because Jin thinks that the devil Jin goes back to the Mishimas. No, that's where the Hachijos come into play. And I'm saying the Hachijos because they got introduced in Tekken 7 and basically retconned everything. So now we're here. The Devil Jean's origins don't trace to the Mishimas. They trace to the Hachijos. And that's something Jin doesn't understand. And if Jin does kill Kazuya, and he realizes, oh shit, I still have the Devil Jean, he's gonna try and kill himself. Because he doesn't want to have the Devil Jean anymore. He's been cursed with this, and he doesn't want it. He wants to get rid of it, and he thinks getting rid of Kazuya is going to do it. But that's not going to happen. And trust me, I'm both a Jin and a Kazuya fan. And I know Jin won't feel accomplished if his goal is not achieved. If he kills Kazuya and still has the Devil Jin, what the fuck's the point? Now, if Kazuya wins, well, if you go back to Tekken 4, uh, Kazuya's ending in that game, he kills Jin by taking his devil gene from him, basically sucking the life force out of the poor guy, and that's it. He laughs maniacally, he destroys everything, Kazuya rules the world, that's it. That's what happens when Kazuya wins. Total destruction. Now here's where things get interesting. What if Kazuya and Jin don't kill each other? What if something stops them? What if someone stops them? Could it be June? She could be the saving grace of both of them and stop this madness. The Kazamas have the ability to heal. Since June wasn't able to heal Kazuya in Tekken 2, nor get the chance to heal Jin, I think the perfect way to culminate her character is to be the one to stop Kazuya and Jin from killing each other and heal them of their devil genes, freeing them from the curse. The final boss could be anything. Maybe Kazuya and Jin are gonna have to fight something more bigger. Could it be unknown? Probably. Could it be a Hachijo? Most likely. Could it be Ogre? Who knows. And god damn it, if a Hachi comes back... <sighs> can Paul finally be a badass again? Can Asuka Kazama actually be a fucking good character for once? We won't know until Tekken 8 comes into full view. And then all of our questions will be answered. Thank you very much for listening. If you want more discussions like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe to for more. I do hope we get to see more Tekken 8 at the Game Awards.